Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer with St. Thomas a Becket. My name is Jane and I will be the leader for this morning and with me today is Dennis and he will be doing the people's part. Please follow along with him as you are able. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Vanity. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and raise a loud shout to him with psalms, for the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. And in his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our maker, for he is our God and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. A reading from the book of First Corinthians. Now concerning food sacrificed to idols, we know that all of us possess knowledge. Knowledge puffs up, but love builds up. Anyone who claims to know something does not yet have the necessary knowledge, but anyone who loves God is known by him. Hence, as to the eating of food offered to idols, we know that no idol in the world really exists and that there is no God but one. Indeed, even though there may be so-called gods in heaven or on earth, as in fact there are many gods and many lords. Yet for us there is one God, the Father, from whom all things are, who from all things and from whom we exist, and one Lord Jesus Christ, through whom all things and through whom we exist. It is not everyone, however, who has this knowledge, since some have become so accustomed to idols until now, they still think of the food they eat as food offered to an idol, and their conscience, being weak, is defiled. Food will not bring us close to God, we are no worse off if we do not eat, and no better off if we do. But take care that this liberty of yours does not somehow become a stumbling block to the weak. For if others see you who possess knowledge, eating in the temple of an idol, might they not, since their conscience is weak, be encouraged to the point of eating food sacrificed to idols. So by your knowledge, those weak believers from whom Christ died are destroyed. But when you thus sin against members of your family and wound their conscience when it is weak, you sin against Christ. Therefore, if food is a cause of their falling, I will never eat meat, so that I may not cause one of them to fall. The word of the Lord. I invite you to join in affirming our faith with the words of the Apostle Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, 
was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord, saying, Lord, have mercy. For the people from on high and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the Holy Church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our bishops and for all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For Charles, our King, for the leaders of the nations and for all in authority, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city of Mississauga, for every city and community, and for those who live in them in faith, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For good weather and for abundant harvests for all to share, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by land, water, or air, for the sick and the suffering, for prisoners and captives, and for their safety, health, and salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, strife, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the absolution and remission of our sins and offenses, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all who have died, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Remembering all the saints who we commit ourselves, one another, and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together, you will hear their requests. Fulfill now our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come eternal life. For you, O Father, are good and loving, and we glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, in the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining us today. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.